what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out like four, five in the morning. Really, I get out by four in the morning. Like I said, I've been doing it since 2016, but I ain't really just put no effort into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I started back in May of 2016 driving Lyft. And um I, I and like you say, when I when I went through YouTube and followed your channel, I was like, what the world? I remember one time I seen you on the on the reel. It's I they said um you drive 84 hours a week. I looked, I said, huh? Man, drive 84 hours a week. Then you popped up again. I said, man, let me go and see what my man talking about right here, man. And I tell you, man, you, you really inspired me because I'd have never thought of driving 12 hours in one day. I'd have never thought of it. It would have never crossed my mind. But when you said what you said, I said, man, you know what? I'm going to go out here and try it. I just want to see how much I can make in one day. And I tell you, man, my first day I drove that 12 hours, I, I made like 3.30 something. I'm like, what the? I said, I see, I see what my man talking about. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> my click is ETG. Eat the goose. Eat the goose. Yeah, Introducing the truth. two First racks a week yeah, challenge. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Which I need some proof. What? Just watch my videos, man. Video and it's no just week. showing all your 2500, 2500. I said, okay. Yeah, all right, that's what that's what with that. 68 I'm hours, so it was two thousand seventy five dollars and sixty cents. I work like 70, I don't remember, like 73, 74 hours. I made uh, like 3,400, close to 3,500. I made $2,001. 60, 62 hours and I had uh, 2,400. 20, Introducing the two racks a week challenge. All righty, all righty, ladies and gentlemen. Man, y'all know what time it is. Here, we have another winner from the two racks, racks. a week we challenge, man. Let's Here we get have it. my boy, David. David, do a quick introduction. Let her know what platform you drive on and what market you drive in. Hey man, I am David Williams. I am actually from Monroe, Georgia, but I'm live in here in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? And I drive for Lyft. You know what I'm saying? That's the only one I drive for for right now. But uh, I am going to. I actually signed up for another platform. I don't know if you know about it, Ronnie, but it's uh, Rides. Okay. I don't know if you know about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I think actually it's gonna be a whole lot more better uh, than Uber and Lyft because what you do is. They give you the whole hundred percent of the pay, but you only pay them a hundred dollars a month. Oh, That's nice. It. Okay. Yes, sir. But I'm, I'm I'm currently driving for Lyft right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old country boy, Monroe, Georgia representative. <laughs> At the VA, right. Georgia board all all day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Georgia. Shout out to ATL. I can't, man, I can't yes, remember sir. exactly how many winners in Atlanta we have now, but you know, maybe I have to you know go back and. Uh, yes, sir. Redo the statistics, but Atlanta may be up there. Atlanta, and St. Louis. Hey, that one I'm talking about. We taking over number one, man. We need to. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, maybe you know, maybe by the end of next month, uh, I'll do like a yes, sir. a tally you know, regroup. Yeah, a tally. Yes, tally sir. Things up. But yeah, man. For the people who don't even know, this is my second time. You know, talking to David. You know, I talked to him uh, last month sometime, like August. I think it was like 31st once I looked at the date. You know, he mm -hmm. did his uh, consultation. You know, we chopped up, talked about things. And, um, you know, a couple of weeks later, he hit his goal. So, you know, before we even, you know, get into like the consultation, you know, a lot of people are going to be wondering like, okay, what made you sign up to do Lyft and what were you doing before? Do you drive full-time, part-time, what? Okay, what I did, you know, actually, I mean, um, actually, when I started up uh, for Lyft, it was back in May of 2016. And, you know, you know, I, I looked at it like, I like, man, you know, I used to work at Domino's Pizza back in the days, back when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I used to deliver pizzas and all that. You know, I uh, reenact with the people and all that. You know what I'm saying? You see the same people or whatever. But, I, you know, and then I heard about Lyft. They came here into Atlanta, Georgia. 
I was like, man, you know what? I like to do that because, you know, I'm very sociable. You know what I'm saying? I know how mm-hmm. I, I feel everybody energy. I said, man, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try this out and see how it is. They say you make good money and all that. And I said, shit, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try it out. So, and next thing you know, man, I came out here and drove. Like you said, at the beginning, I didn't drive no 12 hours a day. I ain't going to mm-hmm. lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Because, like you say, back then, you could drive as long as you wanted to. Right, right. right. So, you could drive as long as you wanted, 14, 16, 20 hours. I'm like, what? But exactly, like I said, man, when, when you had told me you drove 12 hours a day, I was like, huh? That man drive 84 hours a week? I was like, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. But like you said, man, it's, it's, it's a good experience, man. Like you said, we, we do these 12 hours a day. And then, like you say, you'll know exactly how your market is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what it is. Hey, you put the time down. You know what? When I did my 76 hours, I didn't worry about the the, the money. I just worry about the hours. I need to put the hours in because the money going to come. Right, right, right. <laughs> don't worry about the money. The money going to come as long as you got you to gotta stay out there. Oh, man, you absolutely. There. And I always say that, man. You know, the money going to come. You know, it's yep. all about how much time and how much effort and, you know, what your particular goals were. So once you signed up, like, what was the, like, the catalyst? Like, did somebody tell you, oh, you know, you should join, you should check out this lift thing because, you know, you get to drive, you get to make money, be your own boss. Like, uh, what was the attraction for you to want to get into this whole ride? Show? You know what? Uh, one of my old ex-girlfriends had told me about it. And, um, you know, saying we ain't together right now, but that's all great. But you know what I'm saying? But uh, she had told me about it. She's like, oh, man, you need to go and try a lift out, whatever. You see if you can make some extra money on the side. You know what I'm saying? I said, all right, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I signed up. And then, like you said, when I signed up, you had to you had to meet up with a mentor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had to meet up with a mentor. You had to take your picture, check your car out. You had to ride him around and all that stuff and that. You know what I'm saying? And that really what got me involved with it. But mm-hmm. I really didn't take it as serious yeah. I did. And then, like you said, I was doing a lot of overtime at work. And um, like I say, I really didn't pay attention to the money until, like, before the pandemic. I remember out here, it used to average, to me, it was like $20 an hour. Mm-hmm. But I see after the pandemic and all that, and uh, when Kemp opened everything back up, and like I say, man, I was doing a lot of overtime last two or three years but i really didn't start driving until they cut all our overtime out mm-hmm. i said man you know what i ain't worried about the overtime i just got here and drive lift and i see man the money is sky's the limit man i'm like what man, i'm like man within three hours i can i could average between 75 and 95 dollars an hour uh three in three hours Ooh. no lie yeah, yeah. if i get I, yeah i get i get out there at three three four o'clock in the morning that's the best time I tell everybody, man. Get out there at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm telling you, within three hours, I'll be at 90, uh, $75 to $95. Easy. No problem. Mm, shout out to you, man. And you said, like, uh, at your, your job, you know, they weren't they cut off the overtime. What were you doing or uh, at that time, and are you still at that particular job? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still at the particular job right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, um. Like I said, I was, I'm a unit circle press operator. I make truck tires for all my truck drivers out there. You know okay. what I'm saying? I make truck tires. Had to make sure y'all safe out there. But um, like you said, I used to do a lot of overtime, man. But uh, like you said, when they when they cut the overtime out, I just went in, did full, uh, live full time. And like I said, when I when you said you did 12 hours a day, I mean, I've been driving Lyft ever since May of 2016. And last month was like the first time I ever did 12 hours. Never, I never, I, like you said, drive to you, they kick you off the out. I mm-hmm. said, man, you know what? I'm going to get out here and I'm going to try that. And I see how it is. And, man, like you say, hey, man, go out there and get that money, man. It's out there. Oh, man, man, one, hey, man, man, one passenger was talking about, he's like, man, you know what? Money never sleeps. And it always, I, it always go in my head. Money never sleeps. Nope. But it's on you nope. to go out there and get it. Absolutely, it's man. You, and, and your body can be your own worst enemy. About yep. getting this. Yep, your body, your mindset, and yep. um, you know what? What made you want to, you know, uh, take start taking a little bit more serious? Like, what made uh, you like just switch over? Like, you know, I'm about to take this thing serious. Yes, sir. Um, what really made me really wanted to take over? I tell you, man, I'm I'm, I'm just tired of working for a company, man. That's that's, that's the whole biggest thing. I, I just want to do my own thing. Like, man, you talked about it. I thought about getting me like a 15 pan. Uh, passenger van, 
go out to a buddy of mine's owns like he's like the head security of a club or whatever. And I had told I had talked to him about, hey man, I know a lot of people get tore up and all that stuff. They can't drive. They out here in the country because I know Uber and Lyft don't go out there. But I thought about getting me a van and um, how about what you think about me getting a, a fifteen uh, passenger van and take the people when they get ready to go home. I can just take them home, put, load them up, load them up, and and take them on to the house. He's like, man, you know what, man, they that'll be a damn good investment. So mm -hmm. that's that's my whole that's my whole thing right there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. And after that, I'm looking to doing other things too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Not yeah. just one, because like you say, if you want to be, you want to be big money one day, you got to have multiple streams of income. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, that that's a, that's a great plan. You know, uh, especially Atlanta, I know it's a lot of parties, you know, a lot of stuff yep. going on in that city. People always will get drunk. So it's like, yep. a, it's pretty much like a super shuttle, you know, to bring people, uh, safely back to their uh residence so you know i definitely you know like that idea but uh you know before we even talk about that idea i know a lot of people probably wondering out and waiting so okay you know he switched over he started doing it full time they cut the overtime off you know he started uh, taking it more serious want to you know, grow invest in himself now how many hours did you have to do and how much money did you make do you remember uh, how many hours did I do when I did my two racks a week? Yeah, because I could. Pull I did up right now. I did like seventy six hours, almost seventy seven hours. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I spent like it was like three hundred, probably about like three hundred dollars in gas. You know what I'm saying? So here it go, bam! He did yes, seventy six hours, one hundred fifty eight rides for two thousand and five dollars. Not too shabby. And Not then, too let shabby. Me, yeah, let me actually go to the. That was a uh, <laughs> screenshot that I took for the people uh -huh. who think it is just made up. Nah, ain't no made up though. So y'all see no it right there. Same person. Yep. Yep. So you see it, man. Two racks a <laughs> week. Finally. Week, yeah, it was easy. It was actually oh, okay. easy. <laughs> it was actually easy. I was like, dang. Cause you know what? I, I could have done it earlier than that. Tell you the truth. I really mm -hmm. could have, because mm -hmm. like I said, that Monday I only drove like four hours. Then Tuesday I only drove like eight hours. Yeah. And like yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Then because you know, really you can drive up to 18 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Because you know what I'm saying? It depends on how you go. Cause like you say, between five and five, five in the morning till five in the afternoon, that shut you off. Then after 11 o'clock, you can drive, you can jump yeah, back on that out. Yes, yeah, sir. You sure can. Yo, six hours is up. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. man. So, uh, damn, man. I'm so happy that you did it because, like I said earlier, you know, you know, David, he had booked a, a consultation with me. So, you know, we just going over things, you know, uh, giving him some tips. Uh, what stuck out in that, you know, consultation to you? You know, the um, oh man, the, what what really stuck out to me when you was talking about, man, it's, it's your mindset. That's the main, that's the whole biggest thing about it. It's your mindset. What you going to do? The money, like you said, the money out there, it's, it's on you. What you going to do? You know what I'm saying? You can always make money. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's floating around right now. If I wanted to turn my app on the drive right now, I could do it. Yep. I can go out there and, and, hey, the money right there. It's all on you. What you want to do? You yeah, know what man. I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's really my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, no. You good? You go okay. ahead. I was about to say it's really that simple because you know the money is out there, and a lot not and a lot of people really don't know one what they are capable of or their market. So that's why it's best to you know test yourself. You know, I kind of wish I would have had this mindset. You know, when I first signed it, like 2016, when you had all. Uh, <laughs> You could do it like as many hours as you want. Yeah. Man. You could have really seen, you know, how much you could uh make, but you know, it is what it is, man. Oh and, yeah. Um, you know, now shit, now we here. You made it. Yes, sir. It was like the whole attraction, cause some people may look at that, well, that's too many hours. I don't want to work that hard. Like, what made you just want to test yourself? Because you know what? They look at it, they they start hating. Like, Man, that's too many hours. You don't have a life, or I didn't get into to do this. No, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't too many hours. Not to me, because like you say, I'm 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 drawn to working twelve hours a day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, which works out better for me because 
I don't have to go in at my regular job at seven in the morning to seven at night. That's mm-hmm. automatically. And then, like you say, I leave home by five thirty, five forty-five, and I don't get back home to like eight thirty, like eight o'clock that night. So really, that's like fifteen and a half hours. Right, right. For me, I can go out here and drive a little. I can leave here at three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. Everybody ain't back home till like four thirty, four o'clock in the afternoon. Right, you right. Know? So I was like, man, you know what? I can do that. Then come back home and I can chill with my little baby girl. We ain't like, just chop it up. And I can cook on the grill. I still got the whole day to myself. Yep. Exactly. And lay back down. <laughs> and like you said, the earlier, hey, the earlier, the better. Yeah, no man. Lie. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it, it's good. For, not only is it good for your psychology, but once you get home early, let's say if you was home like five o'clock, it's like, yeah. shit, you still got time to, to do stuff, man. You know, and everybody, yeah. you know, pretty much getting off of work around that time anyway. Uh-huh. So it's like, you're not really missing out on too much. No. Nah. So nah, like you said, not. man, it's it's all a mindset, man. It's all, how yeah. bad do you want it? And what are your your motivating factors? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, what, like, what were your motivating factors? Because I think a lot of people, of course, they attracted, you know, to like the income, trying to make $2,000. But I think some people lack something that's like emotional, compelling, that's going to keep them out there, even when they screw up. Like how you said uh, Monday you drove for like four hours, but then you uh, grind it out pretty much the rest yeah. of the week. What were some of the you know, strong indicators that kept you uh, out there? And you know what? And you know what, running what I do is, man, I'm, and I'm going to be totally honest with you. Mm-hmm. You know what motivates me to go out there and drive? I take a passion of what I do, man. I, I love my mm. passion. No lie, man. I, I love them. You know what I'm saying? It, even though when I get through driving, man, I think about what who I, I tripped out with, had fun with. It. Because, like you say, I might not, I, I might not never see them again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you, I hear you really don't see the same passenger. You really don't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's always a different passenger. I was surprised to see a passenger I picked up the other day. She was oh, like, oh, damn it. I was like, what's up, <laughs> baby? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I'm telling you, it's, it's a passion of what I do. I, I really enjoy it. I tell you, man, I, I, I really enjoy it. No lie. You can see it on my profile. If you see my profile, it's a pro- it, it, it's just a passion. I love mm-hmm. it. it. It's something I can do. I can turn the app on right now and drive and won't even think nothing about it. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? I don't worry about nobody robbing, no stealing, no. No, nah, it, it's just a passion, man. Because like I say, man, my, my passenger is everything. Yep. No lie. Yeah, That's man. What yeah, you're right. Like passengers, that the whole experience, you know, you actually care, uh, <laughs> you know, want to provide good customer service, not only customer yep. service, but build some type of connection and have yep. an impact on the passengers. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I remember you saying that in a, in a consultation, like you love what you do. And yep. I knew he was going to make two racks. Like after hearing that, <laughs> after we was talking on the consultation, hearing your mindset, uh, seeing like the attitude, you know, using a like a good mindset. I'm like, yeah, he probably gonna make it. He oh, yeah. definitely gonna do it. And yes, sir. And now we here, man. And, and and I like hearing that because you know it's so easy for drivers to get into like a negative headspace because you mm-hmm. see all this content, you know, online about uh you know the earnings and you know depreciation yeah. and all this other stuff. Why didn't you fall victim to that? Because. I didn't fall victim to the negative stuff because I already I already knew what my market is because I already know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's the biggest thing about it. Like I tell everybody, if you want to drive Uber and Lyft, I'll tell them, even the ones that get in my car, they say, man, you know what? I thought about driving Uber and Lyft or whatever. I said, man, I'm telling you, from, from the get-go, I'm telling you, what you want to do is, like you say, learn your market. And then, like you say, if I'm if I'm way down south, like in McDonough, Georgia, or Stark Bridge, what I do is I set me a destination trip right back toward Atlanta because that's where your money at. Mm-hmm. That's where the money at, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to be in Stark Bridge or McDonough. You got to drive 10, 15 miles or 22, 30 minutes to go pick somebody up. And then they say, you know, you're only going to make $10 within that hour. No. See, yeah. when you get in that little area, Set your destination trip back toward the airport or go to Atlanta. Head that way and you'll get a I'm t- I'm telling you, you'll get a ride. Then once you get your ride, just turn your filter off and just work around that area. Set around Atlanta. That's the whole biggest thing. Mm, man, absolutely. See, like it's all about strategy. It's not even about strategy. I don't that's the wrong word. Like understanding and learning your market. 
And that yep. requires you to actually being out there and experience things. Yep. And the more hours yep. that you spend online, the more you will learn yep. and you know, yep. the better you will be able to assess what uh what areas you need to be in. So let's yep. talk let's let's dive a little bit more into that. Cause I know it's gonna be, you know, people from your market, your areas who struggling. Yep. Like, damn man, I haven't made two racks. I'm you know, my driving experience is, is going down. I don't think it's possible. But then they go see you like, shit, damn, he just made $2,000. Like, mm -hmm. okay, what am I doing wrong? So I want you to say, like, first, what do you think most people do wrong? And second, uh, just talk a little bit, you know, about, like, what do you do to you know, make two racks? All right. The first thing I think, if you, the first thing you can do is doing wrong, you got you got to head toward the city. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that that's the first thing you got to head toward the city. That's why I was telling one of my buddies today. He said, like, "Man, I can't make no money like you." I said, "Man, you got to come up toward Conyers or Lithonia. You get, that's where you need to be at. Right there. Turn your app on. Drive right there. You know what I'm saying? And then, like you said, with the second one, hey man, it's like you said, it really ain't no strategy." But you got to you got to learn your market. You got to know where you at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the areas too. Cause I don't been in some bad areas, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> I had I had an old story, man. I don't know if you want me to tell it, but I can if you want me to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, and tell it. Tell you it. You want to tell y'all, oh, Lord? Yeah. I don't know all my people out here off of off of Cleveland Avenue. I'm pretty sure y'all be like, man. I heard what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I tell you, man. I remember what. I had drove, uh, that was Labor Day. I drove Labor Day that night, right? Mm -hmm. It was like one o'clock in the morning, one o'clock. And what happened is, man, I, I just dropped somebody off at the airport, right? So I was going up 75, 85 North. And next thing you know, I got a hit going toward um, Cleveland Avenue. So, uh -huh. but you know me, I don't know the area and all that stuff. I don't know all these areas up here in Atlanta. So man, next thing you know, man, I get up there. And what happened is, I went into the apartment complex. I hit the girl up. I was like, okay, I'm trying to find out where the apartment at, where you at. She's like, no, you picking up my boyfriend and his friend. I said, oh, oh Lord. So what happened is I was about to grand head out the subdivision. They say, you know, I see two guys running toward my car. They jump in my car. Hey man, take off, take off, take off, take off, take off. I'm like, what? What are you going on with? They say, yeah. you know, I see a person Right beside me, he taking off, spinning all out, out of control with his lights off, flooring it. He went like to my right side. About two seconds later, I heard gunshot. Bah, 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 bah. I said, "Oh shit!" I said, "Oh no, nah, nah." I'm the, man. I tell you, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, running man. I was so goddamn scared, man. I ain't hit slide the pickup. <laughs> <laughs> I, man, I, bro, I do not. Man. That was just, I tell you, that that was the scariest ride I ever took out of my mm -hmm. over 3,000 rides. That was the scariest. I said, man, my old lady, she don't even want me to drive overnight no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I tell people. You got to be careful, especially yeah, areas yeah. like that. And, yeah, you're right. You know, sometimes I can't stand when, when people, like, they'll request, like, when these women request a ride for their boyfriend. I'm like, why don't this dude have a an account? Like, exactly. Yeah, like, you're man, right. you grown, man. You don't have a, a Uber Lyft account? You know? <laughs> <laughs> man, I stereotype. If I see like a sketchy area, you yeah, know, I'm getting up out of there. Cause that <laughs> happened, right. yeah, that kind of happened to me. Not well, not to that extent. Uh, uh -huh. I'll say like three weeks ago, I put up to this uh -huh. apartment complex. You know, I see like two dudes outside. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I kind of like pull forward, you know, to get to like the the exact like pens, whatever the passion uh -huh. was at. And I seen like seven other guys just standing outside smoking dreadlocks. I'm like, oh, oh man, no. I canceled the trip. Man. I left. I'm like, I'm not even gonna wait. Nope. That's all I had to see. Like, why y'all? Why are so many y'all outside at ten o'clock, close to eleven o'clock at night? Like, what are y'all doing? So I'm like, no, nope. exactly. Up to no good. Yeah, no man. Good. Just chilling. Like, like nope. Nope. that's a that's a situation waiting to happen potentially, and I'm not gonna nope. find out. So, no, it's your way, man. man. Yeah, man, you definitely right about that. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes, you know, you just gotta do what's in your best interest. I mean, hey, yeah, I, I don't have no problem being judgmental or stereotyping. If you look like you on some shit or may potentially be on some shit, I'm sorry, I gotta, yeah. I gotta cancel. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm, about, hey, I'm about like that with you on that too, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I gotta cancel. Better because better. you know what? That same mm-hmm. that same night, I heard a girl. I heard um, a a girl got killed the same night. I was up that same time. I was up there. A girl got killed. Yep. The same mm-hmm. time, my buddy told me. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, yeah man. man. I was looking at the news this morning. Uh, old girl, a girl got killed up there the same time you was up there. I said, yeah. oh man. Yes. Yeah, so now you know, Ooh. and you know, I'm glad you shared that story. So the people who are, you know, who do drive in that market, and they know about, you know, you said Cleveland Ave. I think I heard of that. Maybe yeah, one of these I went or something. Yeah, yeah so now I they know. Don't room. go there at no. night, shit. Don't go there. No, no, no. Nighttime, no. I, I'll go probably daytime. But far as night, no. Nah. Yeah. And yeah, what happened exactly. is, uh, I remember, I remember a girl had told me like three days later. I had told a girl. She was like, um, she was like, yeah, uh, I got an app download it where people get shot and all that stuff she said every time it goes off every day somebody got shot here 500 feet away from this house she's like man you know what you might want to keep your gun with you up here in this area i was mm-hmm. like oh lord and then she told me she's like i was uh taking her to work and she said you see that car right there i said yeah and i said damn they just ran the stop sign she's like yeah that's what they do over here they oh, run the yeah. stop sign mm-hmm. keep moving then i seen like five guys five o'clock in the morning five guys outside just chilling Come on, man. What right. you doing at five o'clock in the morning? Man? Right, just up all night and doing oh, nothing, yep. man. Doing nothing, man. Drinking, Wait, smoking, bro. talking shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it's, it. It's like that out here too. Like people. Uh, oh man, man, I can only stuff. imagine. Yeah, so <laughs> certain areas I just avoid daytime or night. So I don't feel like being. <laughs> I don't feel like being bothered with these type of people, man. They get in. Yeah, they don't blame me. Stink, smell like backwoods. Yep. Then they want yep. to make it stop. I'm like, man, no. Man, yeah, you're right. Like, get in, get out. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's all I'm. That's all I'm trying to deal with. <laughs> man, hey, I don't blame you. About like me, I'm the same way, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because you know that is a lot of people, you know, concern, especially if they out here driving, you know, uh, ten, twelve hours. Because sometimes it may lapse into the nighttime, and you know, you need uh-huh. to be on your p's and q's. Yes, sir. You know, Always. Like man. once you, if you park, you waiting, you know. Just Always be aware. Live. Make sure your doors are locked and make sure you just constantly, you know, scan it. Don't yes. have your head down, just be in your phone and, you know, get caught off guard. That's what you yeah. don't want to do. Yeah, and, you're uh, right. Another thing that I do is, like, if I am, like, driving at night, let's say I do stop, I always make sure I got a way to get out. You know? Okay. So, if it, let's say if you're, like, in a culture sack or something, you know, at least turn around because, worst case, if you got to get out of there, what you gonna do? <laughs> you can't just go to the culture sack. So make sure you, you know, at least do a, a turn around. Worst uh-huh. case scenario, you can stab up out of there. You know, get out. So you know, okay. just your p's and q's, ladies and gentlemen. Like, you know, because people getting caught slipping out here because they in their phones playing around, checking Instagram yeah. or or whatever. Yes, sir. So, you know, just be be on your shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That is true, any man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, let's. You know, get back on on topic because earlier I know you mentioned, um, you know, that you was thinking about getting your own van. You know, uh, yeah. picking people up from the club, pretty much starting your own service. Um, would you say is it safe to say that you know you really or uh, this vision became a lot clearer once you start driving? You know, for your like you start driving Lyft and um, you know start challenging yourself and you start learning. Uh, you know, just learning like other possibilities outside of you know your normal job. Yeah, and what I did actually, like you said, man, I, I had thought about it a long time ago, but I really didn't take me seriously into mm-hmm. it until a uh, good year started tripping, man. They don't want to give us no money and all that stuff and that. I was like, man, you know what? I just drive Lyft and I network with people who I talk to and all that, and then I just go about doing my own thing because. Like you said, I had thought about driving anyway a long time ago, but I really didn't take it into effort until this year, really, tell you the truth. Because by February or March, I'm talking about getting on out of there, man. I drive live or whatever, then I do rides, then after that, I'm just going to do my own thing. Because like you said, man, we you can't make no money. You, you got to be your own boss, man. That's the only way you're going to make it in this world. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, no lie. You know what I'm saying? We don't need no job, man. Long, long as we learn the system or whatever, what we need to do, do our taxes and all that, that's all you need because you get tax write-offs. Exactly. You, know you get tax write-offs, tires. I got tires today. Hey, hey that's a tax write-off. 
what, what do you exactly. think? Yeah, what do you think is so attractive for like most people to have like a job? You know, like they feel they feel like they're secure for that mm-hmm. job. That's 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 the whole biggest thing, security. And this job don't care nothing, nothing, nothing about you. They don't care <laughs> nothing about you, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and man. I see that. You know, you know what? I I when I work, man, I took very value of what I do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I need to get paid, man. You know what I'm saying? And then what really ticked me off, they want to give me a 93 cent raise and pretty much like F you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. How long man, have you been on. there? I've been there eight years. A, 90, a 93 in. cent raise. 93 cent raise. They want to give us 93 cent raise, man. Yeah. No lie. Now they uh, went back to the table, so we got to vote tomorrow. So actually, it don't went from a ninety three cent raise to a dollar twenty cent raise. I really don't. I you know what I'm gonna take what I can get right now. Yeah, but yeah. like you say, about February, March, I'm gone, man. I already made my mind up. Good. I can get out here and make. I can make go out here and make more money driving Lyft and uh, Lyft and Uber or whatever if I want to. Yeah, man. And that's, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and that's that's one of the. I guess positive things about you know doing this challenge is because you will learn you will learn a lot more yeah. off, more so you will learn about yourself because once yep. you get out there let's say you grind you make two thousand sometimes people make it twenty eight hundred twenty seven hundred twenty six hundred that's the most money that most people made in a week from challenging it, challenging themselves and it's like eye opener it's like damn what the fuck I've been doing you know exactly. these past few years years I've been selling myself short. And yep. like now it's gonna be a lot harder for you to, you know, go back. Excuse me to the uh, to the job because it's like, man, I could get out here and make two thousand, and I could just figure out other things along the way. Because yep. I got the discipline enough to get out here and drive consistently, and make money to support myself, I could easily just start my own thing. Exactly, and, and you know what? That's that's what we all should be doing, man. Mm. Doing our own thing, like you say, you need to, man. Cause oh, like hell. I said, these people, man, working for a company, man, they don't care nothing about you, man. You just yeah. a body. You just a, you just the assets for them. That's all you. Is. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. That's how you are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know I invest my money. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's all you is, man. You know what I'm saying? You can you can invest your own money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all you can do. I mean, I yep. do it. You know yeah, you know exactly. You can invest your own money. Anything a job offers. You could easily do it yourself. Yeah, you could get health care. You could yep. get your own sure. uh, own investments. And they got, mm-hmm. you know, certain investments and certain uh certain ways that you could do it if you are like self employed, uh, yep. you know, stuff like that. So mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people they just stick to these jobs because, you know, fear. Like they scared to scared. fail, yeah. they scared to take risk, they comfortable and they feel like they get something secure when in reality I don't think most people are as secure as they think, you know, no. especially technology change, anything can happen. Let's say the company sure can. get bought out or they'll just have to downsize because, you know, they get some new machinery or whatever the case may be. Yep. You get laid off and it's like, damn, man, I've been here, you know, 10, 20 years now. Where's the security that y'all promised me? Or I thought exactly. I was get. Mm-hmm. You, really, you know, only uh, blame yourself. So that's why you know, That's I it. encourage, you know, people to get out there and put the work in so they can learn, you yep. know, learn about themselves, man. So since you embraced like the two racks a week challenge, what are some of the things, you know, that you, uh, that you learned about yourself? Oh man. I, I learned about myself a long time ago, man. Mm, you know, okay. I learned about myself, man. I bring you a whole lot of value to the market mm-hmm. and you know what I need to find and instead of bringing it to the marketplace, I need to bring it for myself so I can make my own money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's the biggest thing. You got to make your own money. Because you can do it. I see people work hard. Like one of the guys I work with at work, I'm like, man, you know what? You're a million dollar man, man. The way you work, man, if you work hard for yourself like you do for this company, man, you'll make a killer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And, I see, and I see it in people. You know what I'm saying? I see it in myself. I saw it in myself, really, Tady, a long time ago. I've been working since I was about nine, ten years old. I was working at Domino's, making pizza boxes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I learned how to make pizzas. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was making six dollars an hour back in 1996. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They hired me on. You know what I'm saying? So I see how much value I bring in the market. And like you said, man, 
You just stay in the market. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You stay in that market, man, you, you'll see how much money you can make. And I see as long as I stay out there and I bring my tail back right back, if I go in the country, I'm coming right back toward Atlanta, send me a destination trip. I know that's where the money at, man. And mm-hmm. that's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? It, it very I mean, it, it's simple. It, it's not hard. It's not rocket scientists. We can do this. I know we can. You know what I'm saying? We can do it. I know. I know we can. I, I got faith in everybody. And anybody want to hit me up? Let me know. I ain't got no problem chopping it up with y'all or nothing. I'll show you my strategy or what I do. I just want everybody to, uh, to succeed, man. That's what it's all about. And that was, and that's what your channel is about. Two racks a week. Everybody, everybody, be scared. Oh, running speed, doing all this and that. But you know what? The man show he show you damn how much he make every week. Yeah, <laughs> and I've been I've been showing this since I started, man. For like two two plus years, I've been showing two racks yeah. a week. Even if I don't make it, let's say like one week I'm not gonna make it, then I always yeah. have the formula to make it. Then, then I show other people. That's the most important part. I'm not just doing the other people coming on the, the channel people. saying that they make it two racks and actually showing it. So yes, man, sir. it's definitely man, the, the potential is out there, man. It's all like like yeah. uh, motivating factors, people's mindset, yes, and you know, yeah. it's like how bad do they want it? Cause that's it. You know, a lot of people That's say it. they're unhappy with the jobs and their current situations, but now you got an opportunity to, you know, to change your mindset, change your thinking, and uh, yep. pursue something else. But it's hard for people, so you know. Yes, sir. You know about it, man. And you know, and you know what? For, and you know what? For me, I'm looking at it like, man. You know what? I tell everybody that they get it, they get in the car, talk to me, or whatever. They said, so how long you been driving? I said, shit, you know what? I'm going to drive 12 hours. I'm going to drive till they kick me off the app. They're going to be like, huh? I said, yeah, I'm going to drive 12 hours. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, I mean. That's what I do because that's what I'm bringing to the market. Because uh, I know if I drive 12 hours, I'm going to bring home at least three to $400 a day. Mm-hmm. Easy. You know what I'm saying? That's the – and me working at Goodyear, man, <laughs> That's a hard 12 hour. That ain't nothing easy about that. I'm standing on my feet, running a 350 degree press, loading these tires up. You got a 72 pound tread. You got to load on that core. But if I can just sit in my car and make over three, four hundred dollars a day, yeah, man, come on, man, that's easy to me. I exactly, mean, to me, I, I can't, I can't, I can't speak for nobody else. But for me, it's easy to me, man. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? Saying. and the other benefits, you know, you work for yourself, yep. you're talking to people. That's you know, it. Uh, only thing you need, you know, one conversation can lead to something else. Yep. Yeah, man, it's 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 a great thing, man, because, you know, people, they complain about driving, but it's okay. What is your solution? What's your alternatives? If you don't drive, yes, then what would you, what you, what would you do? Mm-hmm. You know, most people just find something retail or something real quick that they could get, you know, yep. uh, money and back to square one now you weren't happy so <laughs> now gonna, now, and then you're gonna be right back to that damn job that's exactly what you're gonna be at. <laughs> dang, I, you know what i ain't i'm, I'm tired of it. I'm, I, I see how much money i can make man and like you said man i, I could have did it earlier in that like i said if i wouldn't have, if i'd have killed my monday and did my tuesday like i really wanted to i'd have been straight man i'd, I'd have oh, killed yeah. it. i'd have knocked it out in friday by friday no late no saturday i'd have been straight oh yeah no problem oh yeah you're you you're, you're definitely be able to do it again and you know i'm happy to hear you know that you mind your i mean you made your mind up as far as like you know leaving your job you know taking a leap of faith you know uh believing in yourself man yeah. i think i think you'll do great things based on your like your mindset and your attitude man you have a positive attitude you know likable yes, and like good personality you know you definitely uh would achieve great things man and this and it's yes, never sir. too late some people they'll feel like oh well you know, I don't want to do it. It's just be too hard. And I'm like, damn, damn man. Because I always compare, you know, myself and the people I interview from these calls to, like, passengers. Like, every day, like, ask them what they do for work. Do they like it? You know, ask them, like, people in school, what are you studying? Like, what do you want to do? I don't know yet. You know, how much money do you want to make? Uh, I don't know. Just I just want to be comfortable. Like, this is no, like, nothing specific. No, no intentionality. It's just everything is just vague and whatever happens, happens. And I'm like, damn, yep. man, most people, you know, they struggle, you know, with yeah, the they mindset do. part and um, mm-hmm. trying to figure out what yeah. you're doing. Like. And exactly. And I tell everybody, if you're worried about the time, you know what? Don't even look at that time clock. 
just keep on driving. Keep mm-hmm. driving. Don't worry, don't worry about that. And when, the only time you need to worry about that time clock is when they kick your tail off that app. That's yep. the only time you need to worry about the time. But far as that, learn your market, man. Because like you said, man, one day, man, I was driving. I drove one Friday night. And like you said, it was slow, man. I was like, man, ain't nothing going to go on. And like you say, your body can be your own worst enemy. But I said, man, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to stay on out here, man. And yep. they say, you know, man, I, I, I made like 350 that night. <laughs> It's crazy, <laughs> I, bro. I have plenty of days like that. It, it'll just start off slow, and yeah. all it takes is like two or three good trips. Like, okay, I'm back in the game. That, hey, that's it, ain't it, man? Yeah, like I'm back in the game now. Like, yeah, what was I talking about? Like, yeah, now I'm back at it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, like I say, man, if you if you put your mind the way you're gonna drive twelve hours a day, if you're gonna drive twelve hours that day, set it in your mind, and you know what, visualize it. And keep it moving. Don't mm-hmm. worry about what your body gonna say and all that stuff. When you visualize it, and you are gonna thank yourself, man. You know what? I'm glad I did stay out here 12 hour, man. You know, so I'm just gonna put in your mindset that I'm gonna stay out here till they keep me keep my ass off this out. You know, oh, what I'm saying because they did it to me. They did it to me yesterday. But uh, I was actually, I was like, dang, man, they ain't keep me off the app yet. They kept adding rides to me. Yeah, so yeah, that's a, that's a left <laughs> do. At, right, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but when I seen that little four dollar and sixty cent uh, next ride, I went ahead and turned the app off. I said, "Nah, that's all right." Yeah, right. I'm, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be like, cause they'll they'll just keep adding. Like, damn, I thought they I was will. Gonna be yeah, <laughs> they definitely will, man. Yes, sir, man. But like two last things, man. In your opinion, why do you think people should embrace this challenge? You know, aim for you know just driving twelve hours, getting kicked off the app. Oh man, you need to embrace this, man, because this is a full potential, man. This money, hey, like man, one of man, my passenger said, man, we was talking, and he said, money never sleep, and you know what? He is mm-hmm. so right. Money never sleep. Like you said, I can turn the app on right now, and I can, I'll be making, I can be making money. Yep. You don't know care. That that's your full potential, man. Don't let nobody discourage you, and to what you can do. You your own person. You got to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else ain't going to believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? Hey, man, that's all I can say, man. Believe in yourself. You can do it. The the money is out there, but it's on you to go get it. You know what I'm saying? You got to motivate yourself. You know what I'm saying? Got to motivate yourself. When when that body say, hey, man, we've been driving about five or six hours now. Let let me go just a little bit more. Let 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 me go just a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Because that body, like you say, your body is your worst enemy. Yeah. And, and really it is. You know what I'm saying? But you'll get to be like, man, you know what? Ain't nothing going to go on. I just want to turn this app off, then go home and just chill. Chill and do what? I want uh, Fuck that. I want to make my money, man. Uh, yeah, I chill when I get to work in these 12 hours. Then when they keep me off that, then I feel good and I go home and chill. Yeah. And, that's, that's the, and that's the mindset we need to have. Yeah. With that two weeks of uh, challenge, man. If you want to get that two, two, uh, two racks a week, you can get it. I know you can. Hey, man, I, I, I believe in you, Ronnie. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you know what, if he ain't believe in you, you wouldn't even make this channel for us. Yep. You know, and I, I didn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? But you know what, I went out there, like you said, do your market, drive till they kick your ass off that out, and you'll see how many hours you need to do to get your uh, two racks a week. Now, I did it. I thought it was gonna take like eighty something hours, but it only took like seventy six. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. Yeah, yeah. man. Like you yes, heard him, man. It's, it's really, it's really that simple, man. Yeah, um, it ain't hard. Yeah, it's all like I keep repeating myself, but that's that's it. It's all about yeah, like, how bad do you want the things that you say you want. And not yeah. only that, man, I think a lot of people need to do inventory on themselves and figure out how much time they waste throughout the week. Like, what are y'all really doing if y'all don't drive? Because y'all complain about, like, how many hours that you may have to do. But it's okay. Like you said, if you don't do the hours, then what are you going to do with your free time? You're going to just chill, do nothing. Do nothing. Do nothing. Do so, nothing. like, you might as well get out here, you wake up early, you know, get that early start. I'm telling you, the earlier you wake up, the easier it's better. Gonna be. yeah. Because yes, sir. trust me, I, I started like at four and I started as late as 10 and it's a lot easier if you start early because yep. you put that six, seven hours in at five, four or five a.m. It's 10 o'clock. 
compared to you know you put six hours in it's four or five o'clock and shit so that's that's 150 200 dollars you're missing out right there yeah i uh-huh. hear to in, in atlanta from four in the morning till 10 i could be at 150 200 dollars <clears throat> no problem man you hear yep. him, man. all right well before we, we get up before we get up any last words uh, with words of wisdom, just inspiration that you want to share with them. All right, uh, last thing I want to say, man. Like I say, I appreciate you running, man, for getting us this uh this challenge, man. And uh, to to all the people that want to do this challenge, man, hey, do it for yourself. Like you say, we ain't doing it for running. We, I ain't doing it for myself. I, I, I'm doing it for myself. You do it for yourself. But it's a challenge. That's what he put it out here for. Because he wants to see your potential, what you can do. He believe in you. I know he do. You know what I'm saying? Because if he didn't believe in you, he wouldn't have made this channel for us. <laughs> like you said, if I, I would have never heard. I, I've been listening to YouTube, uh, everybody on Rod Share and all that stuff. But I never heard nobody talk the way he talked about doing Lyft and Uber. Drive 12 hours a day. Drive till they keep you off the app. I drive 84 hours a week. I remember hearing, the, I remember hearing you on the, uh, one of the shorts. I remember you had the glasses on. He said, I drive 84 hours a week. I was like, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I drive 84 hours a week. Then, then when I had looked at the video, I said, man, you know what? Then you say you drive 12 hours a day. And like I said, man, you, you was the first person I ever, it ain't been for you. I probably wouldn't even drove 12 hours a day. Mm. I'm just being totally honest. No lie. I would yeah. never done it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Never. I think the most I ever drove before I listened to your channel was like probably about eight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? But far as that, man, we, we all got to believe in ourselves, man. And we can definitely do it. Like I said, I did it. And we got, what, 65, like almost close to 70 people that done did the two racks yep. a week. Uh, yep, because you'll be number 64. And I okay. got two more. I got two more. To, I got one on Saturday and one Sunday. So that'll be okay. 65 66. and 66. 66. That's what's up, man. Hey, man, believe in yourself, man. That's all I can say. We love you. Anything we can do, hit me up. Oh, yeah, my name up on uh, Zariah Williams on the, the chat. <laughs> I don't know how my daughter got my – I don't know how my daughter had, my, had her name up under my email address. I was like, what the – but when I say it's David, it's me. That's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I'll also, you know, link his uh his Instagram, you know, for somebody who want to reach out. I actually going to link yeah. up somebody up with you, you know. But, okay. Uh, Oh, I appreciate you know, that. Man, right you now. heard the man. Shout out to David. Shout out to Atlanta. You know, man, believe in yourself. You know, have a have a positive attitude. Get that early start. You know, get this work in, man. Just embrace it, man. You know, see how much you can make. See see what you're capable of. Even if you fail, you're gonna learn something. You're like, damn, maybe, maybe I gotta, you know, readjust something in my life. Maybe I'm not as disciplined or structured as I think. Let me try again. You know, just keep going and keep going till you actually you know, hit the two racks mark, and it's as simple as that. Yeah, I said that, man. Well, I, I, I totally appreciate you running, man. I, I really do, and I'll be looking out for the shirts so I can see the money so I can get my shirt, man, because I surely need it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they coming. <laughs> they coming. But no, that's true, brother. until next time, ladies and gentlemen, another winner of the two, two racks, racks a week. week. Challenge. <laughs> so, Ronnie Speed over and out. Drum roll. Ooh. So, piano. Piano. Violin. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie Speed over and out. Mr. Two Racks a Week. Holla back. See y'all next week or whenever I post a video. <laughs> Two Racks a Week. Two racks a week. Ronnie Speed. Yeah, Ronnie Speed. 60 hours.